episode one, done about Trump. Painting by candlelight, are we? Showdown time. You lose. God damn, man. I seem to be in a bit of trouble. Something like that. Dead. Someone hit him. Hard. Me? Please. The cops should be here any minute. I'm in your hands. Should it come to that. April 20th, 9.37 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Hi, y'all, it's me, Admiral Adorable, and welcome to Ace Attorney Apollo Justice. Wait, is that what this is called? This is the one with Apollo in it. This is the first one with Apollo. This is Ace Attorney 4. This is the one. And I'm playing it now because I just, I only just uh, played through um, Phoenix Wright, the original trilogy. I finished it like a month ago, and it was awesome. I, I played it, it took me uh, about, a, a, just a, a, at the end of... The end of 2019 to the middle of uh, 2020, I, it took me to beat it. And I absolutely adored it. I adored everything about it. And so I was like, I can't just not play the rest of them now. So here we are about to play uh, in Ace Attorney 4, which I should save. Ooh, no. Now, I've been told that um, most people I, that I talk to about this seem to suggest that, or that I've seen talk about this, rather, because I don't have any friends, seem to suggest that the original trilogy is kind of the best. But I've also never heard anyone say that the other ones are bad, <laughs> which is good. And I hope I, and I, I'm expecting I'll enjoy them because I really love the um, the original trilogy. And as far as I know, this the, this from here onward, it tends to follow more Apollo and Athena, who I don't really know well or really at all. So I guess I'll find out. And I'm interested to see how that goes because I, I I'm, I'm sort of wondering. It feels sort of like they're not going to like Phoenix and Maya. I wouldn't say their story is over necessarily. Phoenix, Maya, Edgeworth, and, and Mia, but their arc kind of and Pearl, they they kind of had this this the original trilogy was a good amount of story for them and, and a good amount of development. So I feel like they don't have to do more with them. They are likely going to, but I, I expect it's gonna be more these ones about Apollo and Athena. But I don't know I don't know a damn thing. So I guess we're about to find out, aren't we? Oh, I have to come up with a, a voice for Apollo that I'm gonna use for the whole game. My voice for Phoenix is kind of like a, a more serious Sonic the Hedgehog, but Apollo should be... He's a little smaller guy. He's, he's kind of he's kind of smaller and wiry, and he's... he's I, 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 I guess I'll figure out his personality. Maybe I'll change his voice to fit it as we go, but uh, I'll make him I'll make him a little a little bit of a nervous boy. Okay, okay, here we go. Panicked. Palm sweaty. Uh, I can admit it. I'm nervous. Ah, good morning. Ah, good morning. G good morning, sir. You look tense, Justice. Wound up tight. Wound up, sir? No, I'm loose. I'm fine. That screeching noise. Is that your voice? I suppose it's to be expected. Your first trial and it's a homicide. I guess justice doesn't start small, eh? I I'm fine. I got up at 5 a.m. to do my cords of steel voice workout. I'm fine. Ah, uh, that explains it. I did detect a certain rasping quality to your screech. <coughs> I overdid it again. As you know, your client today is a good friend of mine. I wouldn't want to let him down, if you get my drift. Drift gotten, sir. I I'm all over that drift. As it happens, I dined with him the night of the murder. We can't let this case fall through. Yes. Yes, I I'm fine, sir. One more thing. Don't say you're fine quite so much. People might take you the wrong way. <laughs> I'll be I'll be preparing our case. You might want to introduce yourself to the client. Yeah, maybe that's not a bad time. <laughs> My name is Apollo Justice. 
If it isn't clear already, I'm a new attorney. And today is my first trial. Not that I'm worried or anything. The defendant has been accused of... murder. My boss wants to help him out, of course. And so do I. I mean, there's no way he did it. Not him. No way. Oh, is it Phoenix? Whoa! Good, uh, morning. Morning. It's all up to you today. First trial, nervous. Meeting him, cardiac arrest. It looks like Phoenix, but like a hobo Phoenix. Like Phoenix after... It looks like Phoenix after the bad ending of part two. Of, um, what's it, Justice for All. Where he goes and becomes like a, a wanderer on the street because he's just disgraced. I wonder what's going on here. Does this take place after the bad ending of part two? Oh my god, that would be awful if that's true. Uh, I think I'm supposed to say something. Uh, help. So, you're... Fine! I'm, I'm fine! Uh, Mr. Fine, is it? Uh, I did remember you having an odd name. Well, we're off to a great start. Um, are, are you sure you're okay? I mean, with me? Mr. Gavin is a top-notch defense attorney, and he's your friend, so, so why... Hmm. You'll see. It looks like Phoenix, but I, it doesn't... It, he's it, like a grizzled Phoenix. I'm... And it didn't did it say P P A on his, on the side of his hat? I don't know what that means. Phoenix. Ah. <laughs> uh, you can do it. Be confident. Um, I, I'm really sorry this happened to you. I mean, I mean I. It's time. Shall we? Yes, sir. Okay. I need to focus. First trial. Here comes justice. April twentieth, ten a.m. District Court. Courtroom number two. Oh, here we go. Bah, that's what I missed. The court is now in session. <laughs> uh, I should have known I'd be seeing you again. <laughs> once saved, you can select continue from the title screen to load this. Okay, I thought it was. I thought it, said it, it was going to be one of them bookmark. Like you load it once and you're done. And I was like, I'm going to have trouble with this game. <laughs> well, the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Uh, the defense is uh, fine. I, I mean, ready, Your Honor. Mind going blank. Don't panic. <sighs> Too late. Your name was Mr. Justice, and this is your first trial. Yes, Your Honor. But I'm fine. Really. Are you quite sure? Your voice sounds a bit strained. <coughs> uh, Mr. Gavin. Yes, Your Honor. I was under the impression that you would be heading up this case. That was my intention, yes. However... A defense attorney must always cede to his client's wishes. And my client specifically requested Mr. Justice. Well, of course he wants justice. But to entrust his case to this greenhorn? Well, why? I do not exaggerate when I say that you're the best defense attorney in town, Mr. Gavin. <laughs> Phoenix just like... Okay, fine. Okay, so Gavin's got trial experience, fine, but does he have cords of steel? Then let's begin. The defendant may enter the courtroom. This is truly an unfortunate turn of events. I'm sorry we had to meet again under these circumstances. Long time no see, Mr. Wright. Let's put the past behind us, shall we? These days, I'm merely Phoenix Wright. Piano player. <laughs> what? Okay, sure. Mr. Wright, how could this have happened? I mean, my thoughts exactly. I won't speak of it further, then. If the prosecution would be so kind as to explain the charges. Mr. Payne? To think I saw you enter this room a fresh attorney, and now I'll see you leave in chains. A fresh attorney? Oh, the first time he saw him, I see what he's saying. Okay. I was like, he's not fresh, he's been doing this for years. Ah, Winston Payne. Subtle as ever, I see. Ahem. <laughs> The crime occurred at the Borscht Brawl Club, a Russian restaurant. The defendant, Phoenix Wright, took the victim, a customer, and he hit him. Wham! On the head. Smack. Killed him cold. Hmm. A customer at a restaurant, you say? I feel it bears noting, the first case is usually quite easy, because they're trying to get you acclimated to playing the game. Although, maybe since this is the fourth game, they're like, fuck it, <laughs> they're only the people who have played the game before are buying this one. I guess we'll see. And the defendant, you say he was... The pianist for the club, it seems. Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright. A pianist? Did he not just say that? <laughs> <coughs> uh, 
Now I've got my cords of steel m wrecked. This is the weapon that the, this is the weapon that took the victim's life. A bottle of grape juice. Grape ju grape juice, eh? <laughs> grape juice is apparently our defendant's drink of choice. The court accepts the deadly bottle as evidence. Type weapons. Oh, type. There's types now. Submitted as evidence by Prosecutor Payne. Deadly bottle. Something to note, Justice. All evidence is filed in the court record. I guess that's this up here. How I get to that? Ah, okay. How do I really see the, the descriptions for them? Okay, type other. What are my positions? How long did I yearn for one of these? Just putting it on makes me feel ready. What is check? Oh, okay, hang on, wait. What is check on the badge? Is it just a close-up? Oh, I can turn it around. Wait, can I turn it around? How do I add a... Ah, okay, here we go. Cool. So you can just do this with everything in this game? There's a number inscribed on the back of the badge. There are many numbers like it, but this one is mine. Proof that I'm an attorney. To tell the truth, I get a happy feeling inside just looking at it. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be just like, examining my badge while we're in court. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Let me check the autopsy report quick. Uh, the time of death was around 2 a.m. April 17th. Death caused by a single blow to the forehead. Received during the preliminary hearing. Uh, estimated time of death between 1.45 and 2.15. Shady Smith. Um, age, uh, Male. Cerebral- Age, uh, Why age, uh? Cerebral hemorrhaging resulting from blunt trauma to the head. Unfortunate. Oh, there's a photo of the crime scene. Oh dear. I guess this is Shady Smith. Weird that there's a- ah, I'm already seeing all kinds of red flags here. Okay, so there's a bottle. Nothing's pouring out of it, so it was empty when it was used to kill him. If it was used to kill him, but it didn't break when it was used to kill him. I guess its bottles can be pretty sturdy, but... I should probably wait till they actually have- oh, there's people now also. Okay, hang on. I just, I just wanted to get my bearings on everything. Uh, Christoph Gavin. Um, boss at what Gavin Lofts is a first-rate defense attorney and my trusted mentor. What does the arrow do? Oh, it just puts it away. He's 33. Oh, 33! God damn. He was 26 by the end of the third game. So this is seven years after that. Which means Maya is like... She was, what, 20, uh, 19 by the third game, so she's now 26. She can be a freaking defense attorney. And Pearly! Little Pearly! Little Pearly was like 9 at that point, so she's gonna be like... She's gonna be like 16! What the hell? I, that's gonna be so weird. My child! <laughs> what, what? She's gonna be all old! Okay, here's in this case. A travel alone recently back in the country. Mr. Payne, he's 61 by now. Uh, what's with this freaking hair? That's so weird. He's got like... Like, zombie hair. Anyways, uh, prosecuting attorney. For all his experience, he lacks a certain presence. Make a practice of checking it frequently. The court record. Right, I've heard of that. Uh, the button. Yeah, no, I'm way ahead of you, Christoph. Thanks, Christoph. Right, the court record button. Sounds like it's time for some hands-on action. So, the victim was a customer at this restaurant. But just who was this, um, uh, Shady Smith fellow? We believe he was a traveler, Your Honor. A traveler? According to his passport, he had been out of the country for a number of years. He had only returned to this country recently, though his place of residence is unclear. And he had some sort of connection with the defendant. That too is unclear at the present, Your Honor. We believe they first met at the Borscht Bowl Club on the night of the crime. If they had only just met, then why murder? <laughs> then why murder? Perhaps the victim cited the defendant's piano playing? That doesn't appear to have been the case. No, the motive had nothing to do with the defendant's lack of playing skill. Oh, nice. At least not piano playing. I'll let this photo explain what I mean. Oh, card playing, you say. As we can see, a game of poker was in progress at the scene of the crime. Oh, I hope it's not gonna make me... I don't have... I hope I don't have to worry about poker rules, because I don't freaking know them. <laughs> Wait a second. Isn't poker gambling? That's a crime in and of itself. Indeed. It appears our defendant has followed to become the basest sort of criminal. Objection. It is true that the defendant was- OBJECTION! Sorry. <laughs> was engaged in a game of poker with the victim. Oh, this is the same song as the other games. The, the tense song. Not all of the songs will be the same, but- Yet it was only that, a game. In the purest sense, a competition, your honor. A competition? Yes, a test of wits, a silent clash of passions. Only the cards, their backs, wreathed in blue flame, know its final... Know its final outcome. <laughs> uh, come again? The cards on the table had blue backs, Your Honor. I believe the defense was waxing poetic in an attempt to mystify those present... and impress women! <laughs> that will be our first order of business here, then. Impressing women! <laughs> to find out more about this fatal game of cards. <laughs> Very well, defendant. You will testify to the court about the poker competition held the night of the crime. My pleasure. 
This is it. My first trial. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Testimony time. I'm a penis by trade, yet I can hardly play at all. My real job is to take on interested customers over that poker tail. Ta table. <laughs> Shit, since I've stopped being an attorney, I forgot how to speak. The room where we play and the competition in there are the club's main attractions. The rules are simple. We play a game of poker just using two decks of, using two decks of cards. That's all it is. A game. And our customers are happy. Hmm. A pianist who can't play piano? Better than a defense attorney who can't defend. Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. Uh, right, Your Honor. My first cross-examination. Don't blow it. Are you alright? You're sweating bullets. Bullets? Where? It's a figure of speech, Justice. Your voice sounds strained and raspy, too. My brain feels strained and raspy, sir. You've watched me perform cross-examinations many times. Though you've never done one yourself, have you? Care for a refresher? What to do? Should I ask Mr. Gavin for a refresher? I sh no thanks. No need for help there, sir. I think I've got this one covered. I think you'd better do more than think. You know it or you do not. I'm fine. The cords of steel are ready for battle. My weapons, press and present. Find any inconsistencies, any lies in the testimony, and reveal them to the court. That is cross-examination. Learn it, know it, do it. Inconsistencies? Lies? Phoenix Wright? As if! Phoenix Wright would never lie, and it's up to me to prove it. The defense may begin the cross-examination. He could make mistakes, though. He did I, He did quite a lot of that when I was playing. Alright, this is not a bad time to save, I think. It's so weird how all the music stops. Okay, I'm a pianist by trade, yet I can hardly play at all. My real job is to take on interested customers over at the poker table. The room where we play and the competition in there are the club's main attractions. The rules are simple. We play a game of poker using two decks of cards. That's all it is. A game. And our customers are happy. I can't imagine Mr. Wright lying in a testimony. Isn't it a little early to be jumping into conclusions? This is your first cross-examination. Take it slow. If you need more information, don't forget to press. Right. I got it. I I'm fine. I'm gonna listen to that testimony again. Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, there's no harm in just pressing all of them, I guess. Uh... But let's see which- let me just check the- oh, where's my freaking court record? Uh, do I have to hit present? I guess I do. I don't even know how to- where's, where's the present button? How would I present something if I- maybe it's not letting me do it yet or something. Uh... Oh, there's- it's at the top there. I'm- I'm blind. Okay. Let me just- I want to take another look at this photograph. I'm trying to see if there's evidence that there are more- there's multiple decks of cards. Like maybe if there were- if there's an, more than three of- more than two of the same cards somewhere. Okay, so there's- it's hard to tell what the suits are from here. I guess that won't be it. I'll just press some more on some of these. Okay. The room where we play in the competition, uh, in there are the Hubs Main Attractions. Hold it! The room in the crime scene photo is an attraction? It has quite a history, actually. The Borscht Bull Club used to be a gathering spot for black market types back in the day. Black market? All in the past. Things like the black market are only on the silver screen nowadays. Suffice it to say that there were a lot of deals being made under the table. Right there, in that room. A smoky room, gambling hoods. You know, just look- You know, just looking at this picture makes me feel bad. The bosses gather around the table cutting deals, safe from the eyes of the law. Meanwhile, a goon keeps watch through the small, through the small window. I can practically picture it now. The window does look like it would be good for keeping a lookout, but little else. The room had a few other tricks to it, though it was common knowledge to our regulars. At any rate, they come to play poker in a room steeped in history. Despite the dark past, it was all just a good, just good, clean fun. Man, that t that was that goes on so long. Okay, it was simple. We play a game of poker using two decks of cards. Hold it! Two decks of cards? A simple measure to prevent cheating. If you alternate two decks, no one can slip in cards. There's something else I noticed. In addition to the cards on the table, there are some lying scattered on the floor. Precisely. Cards on the table, cards upon the floor. Each one forming a complete deck. A crime scene painted blue by a sad sweep of cards. Oh, wait, so the cards on the floor are all one deck and the cards on the table are all one deck? Because that doesn't sound right. It's poetic, really. Incidentally, we used two types of cards at the club. One deck of cards was red, the other blue. As I recall, in poker you make five card hands. I can see how it would be easy to cheat. Yeah. <laughs> yes, a game of hands. Huh? 
Yeah, I, I, I concur, huh? Just gonna ask a bit more, because you, you used to be an attorney, so that's not technically, I mean, I want to know more about that. You can hardly play? No, oh, I play sometimes, when customers demand it. So I play them one song. That's usually all they want. Was that supposed to be a boast just now? <laughs> the title of pianist is a mask, a respectable face I wear for the world at large. Then why are you really at the Borscht Bowl Club? Well, tell me about that too. May as well press on all of it, because I'm not seeing any contradictions just yet. They pay you just to play poker? That would seem to be the case. I am a professional, after all. Bah! Do I detect pride in that statement? It's just hard for an honest, hard-working member of society like me to imagine. Yes. Your imagination was always a bit limited, Winston. Oh, Winston. Ooh, ouch. Whoa, what? I've played poker for seven years in that little room. And I've never lost. Once. Seven years, so you gave up attorneying right after the third game? Is that right? What? You see why the customers come now? Defeat the undefeated poker champion. It's quite a draw. That is, I'm quite a draw. Wait, you've never lost once? Not even one time? As I said, I'm a professional. He's played poker for seven years and not lost once. Is that even possible? This competition you're talking about. I believe the court understands the nature of the game sufficiently. That's right. It was a simple game, after all. Are you sure? Huh? People are not murdered over simple games, Mr. Justice. Defendant, you were in the room the very moment that the crime occurred. Yet you claim no connection to the crime. Now that's strange. What's strange? I was testifying about the competition that night. Asking me about the crime at this point is against the rules, Your Honor. Of course, I expected to hear a cry of objection from the defense. Objection! I should have said. Uh, I completely let that one slip by. Don't despair yet, Justice. S sir? Right. There's something I'd like made clear. Namely, your connection to the case at hand. And I'd like to hear it from you. Sure. Why not? Very well. The defendant will amend his testimony. Just one little press, and I've got myself a whole new testimony. Yeah, well, I guess it's it's better than <laughs> that, that. I wasn't finding anything before, so there's that. I pled silence regarding the murder, but I will say I never touched the murder weapon. Oh, wow, okay, well, that's a very specific and oddly, odd way to put that. I can't imagine Mr. Wright lying in testimony. Isn't it a little early? Oh, wait. Oh, and he just ad added it to the to this, okay. I pled silence regarding the murder, but I will never say- I, I will say I never touched the murder weapon. Hold it! S silence The defendant has the right to refuse to testify. I haven't forgotten everything about the law. But why? That clearly puts you at a disadvantage. And it's your job to turn that around in our favor, yes? Great. Like I didn't have enough to do already. Justice, didn't you detect anything odd about that testimony? Huh? Wait. Something he said did ring a little strangely. Just one thing. Now, what was it? When you figure it out, I'd suggest presenting evidence. Evidence? Oh, evidence that contradicts the testimony. A contradiction in Mr. Wright's testimony? But why? I better check the court record. I can't imagine Mr. Wright lying a testimony. No, I should... Okay. I, I didn't think it said anything about his fingerprints. Maybe I didn't examine it closely enough. Uh, hang on. Submitted his... Uh, bears... Oh, it bears his fingerprints. It does. Okay. I didn't. I didn't see that before. Let me just examine and see what look what, what is grape juice. How long has it been since I drank grape juice? Apparently, it's Mr. Wright's favorite drink. I wonder how well it goes with borscht. Not well, somehow. Something tells me. What about the cork? Is there anything, or is is it the same? Is the examination the same everywhere? No, it isn't. So, is there anything notable on this bottle? The bottle is completely empty. Okay, that's all I cared to know about that. <laughs> well, there's that. Oh, wait, that's not- oh, that's the wrong part. I have to- Sorry, almost did that. Oopsies. I'm afraid you're wrong, Mr. Wright! OBJECTION! So you say you didn't touch the murder weapon. You didn't touch it, did you? <laughs> this grape juice bottle? Right? So I said. Something the matter, Mr. Justice? Something the matter, Mr. Justice? Hehehehe. <laughs> Too bad our new defense attorney never learned how to play dumb! What's this, Mr. Payne? I examined the bottle in question, you see. And it was covered with the defendant's fingerprints. OBJECTION! 
no need to shout, Mr. Justice. I can hear you just fine. Okay. <laughs> Excess yelling condemning the judge damage the judge's ears and our case. But what about my cords of steel? Any anyway, what's so strange about the fingerprints on a bottle in a restaurant? Well, that's true. Uh, the prints alone didn't prove it, did it? Objection! Oh, they wouldn't prove a thing if they were normal fingerprints. Huh? But the fingerprints on the murder weapon were upside down. Upside down? What does that mean? It means he was holding the bottle inverted! And there can be only one reason for that, hitting someone with it. Yes! To brain someone with the bottle! Ah! Mr. Gavin, I think things just took a turn for the worse. Oh? I see no problem, Justice. Uh-huh. The only thing that matters is the truth. There's a good reason for everything. You'll see. Defendant, can you explain your fingerprints on this bottle to the court? I stand by my plea of silence regarding the murder. Why are you testing us like this, Phoenix? Why, why does it say Papa on your hat? <laughs> for now. Mm, not very cooperative, are you? Is he trying to, trying to teach us how to do this? Surely there are better ways. Have some compassion, Phoenix. Don't you remember what, happened, what your first case was like? And Mia even helped you along. <laughs> this could hurt your case. I'm sure he's uncooperative because he's hiding something. There must be some reason. Your Honor, you seem to have forgotten one thing. Or something. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so you've forgotten a number of things that I will disclose at a later date. <laughs> and what might that be, Mr. Gavin? On the night of the crime, who was it who reported the murder to the police? Reported? Well, that was the defendant, Mr. Wright. But still, that- Really? Um, yes, well, according to the case file, the murder was reported from near the scene by a call from the defendant's cell phone. N near the scene? Let's take a look at a diagram of the murder scene, shall we? The victim was murdered in a small room in the basement, two floors down from ground level. Of course, cell phones can't get reception so far down. The defendant used the stairs in this hallway to go above ground. The call came from the first floor of the restaurant. I see. And this is the phone that made the call? Oh, tell me he still has the, the Steel Samurai ringtone. That was so cute. Right, cell phone. Okay. The defendant could have just fled the scene of the crime if he so chose. And yet, he fulfilled his duty as a citizen and reported it to the authorities. And yet you claim he is being uncooperative. Well, he is being <laughs> Never mind, I'll just keep my mouth shut on that. Gah! Nice save, Mr. Gavin. I'd better not waste this. I think the prosecution has toyed with our client enough for the time being. T toyed? I can assure you, no one is more serious about- What was it you said? The defendant was in the room the very moment the crime occurred. How can you possibly know this? That's a good question. How indeed? Wasn't it the judge who said that? <laughs> you were in the room the very moment the crime occurred. The answer is simple, Your Honor. The prosecution has a decisive witness. <laughs> You're as good as they say you are. So someone else was in the room the night of the crime, or was looking in from the window. That must mean they witnessed the crime. Everything up until now has been a warm-up, Justice. You ready? Very well. The prosecution may call its first witness to the stand. Oh boy. Uh, hello? The witness will state her name and profession. Who? Oh, hold on just a moment. W where's the witness? Yeah, okay, come on, you can't, you can't be serious. You can't see that? I surmise that she has been frightened by the fence's, defense's demonic looking horns. So, so why lose the little hair gel? Relax, people. Have no fear. If any horns point in your direction, this court will cut them off. You are sure? I swear it on my gavel. Please, come out. Isn't violence against here a crime, your honor? Well, if you're sure it's okay. Oh, I like her. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> she's cute. I have not a ah! I didn't get to read that. Wait a minute. Would the prosecution care to explain the witness's um, paraphernalia? Uh, yes. She is a professional, Your Honor. Those are merely the tools of her trade. What is which ones? <laughs> and that would be. My name is Olga Orly. I am employed as waitress in Borscht. Oh, she's 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 Russian. My bad. <laughs> I'm employed as waitress in Borscht Bowl Club restaurant. Then why the camera? 
Of course, it is my pride that to, to pride. Well, well, that was Scottish. Sorry. It is my pride to serve the borscht that is that is naming restaurant. But I also perform. How is it said? Other service. I take it one of those other services is taking the customer's pictures. Da da. Like for example, this one. Oh, okay. Well, that's more. That's interesting. Th that's the defendant. Indeed, on the night of the murder. Man in white hat is one who has gone kaput. Indeed, that is the victim. Order, order. This is quite a piece of evidence to casually drop into our laps. It is the same way as I drop bowls of porst onto laps of customers. Casually. Hmm. Uh, then the court will casually accept this new evidence. Photographs of Mitt's evidence. Okay, hang on. I want to. I want to have a look at this. Okay, this one's in color, which is interesting. Unfortunately, I don't see any mention of cards. Uh, the cards aren't here. Unless that's no. He's got like a napkin or a pocket protector or whatever. Okay. So they had a talk. That's all we can really glean from this picture. And there's nothing. This bull suit of borscht, I guess. <laughs> um, I was hoping the cards would be here, but no. Now, witness, where were you at the time of the murder? Well, it was in a room. The hideout, we call it. Excuse me. The hideout. It is room where famous gangster bad guy was arrested. It is room where murder took place. What? You gotta look at Father's surprise. It is lovely. I, I will post by courtroom door later for you. Dah, dah, photos will be numbered, and you will write which ones you want copy of. So there were three people in the room at the time of the crime. The victim, Shady Smith, Mr. Wright, and Olga Orley, our witness. And if Mr. Wright isn't the killer, that means... Very well, witness. You will testify to the court about that night's events. Oh man, things are all kicking off now. That night, customer asked for me to deal cards for game. It was cold. Both players played with hats on, dah. The victim, he plays the whole time with his hand on locket as his neck. Then last hand he's done. But something terrible has happened, da. Uh, that man flew at victim and is strangling to him to death. Strang- well, that's not right. <laughs> hmm. Incidentally, who won the game? Isn't it obvious? The winner was the victim, Mr. Smith. Objection! Objection! That's bullshit! <laughs> that's ridiculous! Um, because- Because Mr. Wright can't lose! <laughs> Justice, maybe you can come up with a more legitimate objection. But he hadn't lost in seven years. Take it from me, kid. It happens. I didn't lose a case my first seven years as prosecutor, either. Incidentally, I have some evidence here. More? We don't need more. I already know the strangulation is the wrong cause of death. These are the poker chips as they lay the very moment of the crime. Oh, so it looks like he was winning. Oh, and what? I don't know which hand. I guess that's, that's, prob that's, that's pretty resolutely a better hand. Three kings and two aces. Beats three sevens and two aces. I, I guess it would. Okay, so there's no repeats between the ace. There's an ace of hearts, ace of, of diamonds, ace of clubs, ace of uh, spades. I should say, um, and then three kings and th and three of these. So there's no t there's no telling. Oh wait, what's that? There's a two of spades over there. Why? <laughs> and something of hearts over here. I guess it would have to be like a five or something because it's one in the corner. Well, I guess I guess we'll get into that in a minute. The, the hand and the chips on this side belong to the defendant, Mr. Wright. Those on the far side belong to the victim, Mr. Smith. Chips, you say? Duh. I mean, yes, imagine that poker is war. Your hand is your army, and the chips are the spoils. I know that. After all, in my youth, I was known as the poker head of courtroom number three. Why courtroom? Uh, I think he means poker face. <clears throat> Looking at this picture, it does seem that most of the chips are on the victim's side of the table. Well, that's neither here nor there. We got we got we got one more contradiction to deal with before we go there. Very well. The defense may cross-examine the witness, and so I shall. The whole time with his hand on the locket at his neck. I'm also just interested in that. Before I go and give the information, is there any the locket at his neck? There is one for sure. Um, is it missing here, or is it just obscured? I can't actually tell. Why the hell is the crime scene, the crime photo, not in color like the freaking? Miss Polaroid over here. Some terrible's happened. Uh, that man flew at a victim, is strangling him to death. That is incorrect, my friend. I am sorry to say so. Objection! Oh, really? Strangled, you say? That's odd. Duh. Normal customers only choke on bor choke on borst. 
No, I mean, this report shows that the victim died of a blow to the head. <laughs> Miss Orly, really now? Did you witness the crime? <laughs> oh, she caught it. <laughs> you get just something to be said for her dexterity. Her, she's got the dexterity of a murderer. Hmm. Looking at the picture, it doesn't seem like he was hit. He's still wearing his hat and everything. Yet it is a fact that he was hit, Your Honor. Oh, well, hey, well, you can't just suddenly- Oh, oh, I got another photo. Give that first. Here's a photo we took of the victim with his hat off during our investigation. Well, that's quite shocking, isn't it? This head certainly was hit. Yeah, unless there's borscht spilled on it. <laughs> Man, we got way too many photos for this. But, but I, I have seen it happen. The defendant, he lunged at victim, his neck. Oh, really, Miss Orly? I think I've caught you in your own lie this time. Justice. I admire your enthusiasm, but perhaps you should think this through once more. What do you mean? I found a contradiction. There's one thing in her testimony that troubles me. Yeah, there's still- there's- it's not all good yet. That wasn't the only contradiction, I think. But I was the only- it was the uh, most obvious one, so I figured I'd start there. Very well. It seems we should continue this cross-examination. There's such a thing as thinking too much. This horse is dead. Let's stop beating it. There's such a thing as thinking aloud too much, too. Plays whole time with his lock at his neck. And something's done, something terrible has happened. After the defendant tried to strangle the victim, he hit him with bottle. Customer asked me to deal cards for the game. It was cold. Both player, uh, players played with hats on. Is, is Oh, I guess Phoenix wouldn't be the dealer if he's playing. Um, both players had hat played with hats on. The victim, he plays the whole time with his hand uh, on the locket at his neck. Then how could he drink the... Oh, wait, unless it was Phoenix that dr drank it. I guess that was what was suggested. Uh, Uses the murder weapon. Okay, well, let me examine some of this and see if... Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, so the locket is... I mean... First case is usually very simple, so I, I I may be a total idiot for not getting this right away. Oh, well, the locket's not in this picture either. Uh, that's okay. So I guess we could present that here. Objection! Objection! You know, there was one curious part in her testimony, just like Mr. Gavin said. But what does it mean? Mr. Justice, would you care to explain what it is you're thinking so intensely about? Uh, recall the testimony, Your Honor. The victim played with his hand on his locket at his neck. On the lock... With his hand on locket at his neck, I believe she said. I hope you aren't about to raise an objection to the witness's grammar. N no, but look at this photograph. Look at this photograph. Do you see a locket on the victim's neck? Well done, Justice. I'm impressed. I knew you'd be able to handle this. Uh, but, but what does it mean? If we are to believe this witness's testimony as is, then the locket disappeared following the victim's death. Lockets just don't just disappear, Your Honor. It's quite simple when you think about it. If the locket is gone, someone must have taken it off, no? Taken it off? Wait, you don't mean- The defendant wasn't strangling the victim at all. He was taking off his locket. Wouldn't that explain it? Oh! Uh. Defendant, what do you have to say to this? <laughs> say. Yes? I just noticed this, but- you have something hanging around your neck, don't you? Oh? Oh, you mean this? Yes, it's a locket. With a photograph inside. A photo of my daughter. C come again? Mr. Wright, you have a daughter? Unless he just means Pearl. <laughs> we confirmed it at the time of the arrest. The picture in the locket is indeed Mr. Wright's daughter. Wow. That's, hmm, well, hmm. That's, um, something seems sketchy about that somehow. With whom? <laughs> You and Edgeworth adopt someone, Phoenix. So, Mr. Wright has a locket too. Why don't I buy that this is just a coincidence? Oh, maybe he thought Dude Man stole his locket, or or lo locket, or there's some maybe Dude Man did steal his locket. Maybe that's he was just getting it back. Maybe he maybe they bet it in the guard game. I don't know. Well, now if the results of this poker game led to the murder, perhaps we should hear a bit more about the outcome of the game. I think perhaps we should hear a bit more. Next time. Thank you so much for coming with me into Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. I am so hyped to start this. I love Phoenix Right. These games are so awesome. Ah! Ah! Okay. Compose myself. Uh, we're, I hope I don't forget too many details between next, now and the next time I play this. But uh, for now, we have to call it here because I'm out of time. So hopefully I'll see you around again. Admiral's going to be out of here. Peace. See you next time on Ace Attorney. 
Apollo. I'm gonna try not to use the laser because I think that will hurt him because I think that's the only way I could hurt him if I were trying to hurt him, which I am not. Glyphs, glamour, I finally have it all. So what if a few people have to die? That's show business, baby. 